Although, James, it is bittersweet as we're thinking about leaving Oregon. Not only the fact that our two children are here and all my sisters are here, but the many fond remembrances. For over 10 years, Jacksonville Marble Works stood on the corner of Oregon and California streets. Just a few years ago, the Sentinel reported that you were doing a rushing business. God has certainly blessed our time here. Well, the Russell family from Ashland will now be delivering headstones here to the Jacksonville Cemetery. You know, a few years ago, Mr. Russell had a contract with the federal government to deliver a piece of Oregon marble for the Washington Monument. So he went over to Williams and carved a uh, four-ton piece of marble and was transporting it from Ashland to Redding, where somewhere in that distance, that block of marble broke in half. So he had to return all the way to Williams and get another piece of marble, and the federal government would not pay him for that second trip, so he made no money on the whole deal. Oh, what a disappointment after all that work and so little profit. Hmm. Well, you remember the fire that destroyed Lynn's furniture? That was your sister Anne's and her husband David's business. Well, that gave us an opportunity to start our own store. But they were, they were the ones that supplied most of the coffins here for the Jacksonville Cemetery. Oh, I remember the day of that fire. That was a terribly, terribly sad day. But God always has a plan, and maybe that was the encouragement that David needed to enter politics. It, it wasn't long after that he became a member of the city council and later was elected mayor. What part of our business will you miss most? Well, I had to dismiss my employees, those very, very skilled stone workers and marble cutters, uh, outstanding workmen. And together with the outstanding materials that we were using, the Italian and Vermont marble and the American and Scotch granite, we made some memorable pieces. Oh, I know the fencing around my sister Julia and Cece's plot will be remembered for years. I'm sure many Beekmans will appreciate your work done there. Well, that piece turned out better than I had even hoped for. I was so excited when you started to sign your monuments. Not all of them, but a few. Uh, Dr. Robinson was so pleased when you made the headstone with the kneeling child for his two children. And then there's the <clears throat> sight of our infant daughter, Carrie. She would have been nine this year. Uh, the gently carved marble with the granite surrounding it. A beautiful memory. Well, I left the British Navy when I was 21 and I made my, west, uh, my way west to make my fortune here in Oregon. Got started in Portland where I worked on the Oregonian building and the Portland Hotel. A little later on the Tillamook Lighthouse and finally, in 1883, we moved here to Jacksonville, where I started to work on the courthouse. Hmm. My parents came west uh, in 1852. Uh, my Uncle Henry thought it might alleviate my mother's asthma, being in a different climate. So uh, my parents, William and Caroline Hoffman, along with all six of us girls, uh, traveled west from Maryland. Um, my father writes in his diary, you can almost feel the fear in some of his words when the Indians surrounded our campsite or some days travel was so slow, only going 11 miles because of such rough terrain. He also mentions near the Rocky Mountains, we met up with a group of Methodist Episcopal ministers, and he said that Sunday devotionals were more like camp meetings with over 20 ministers participating in communion. You would have thought when they all arrived here in Jacksonville, there would have been a general falling on the knees and a giving up of hallelujahs and a setting off of fireworks but not your father, William Hoffman. For him, hallelujahs were reserved only for church services. Well, you do know my father. Uh, we first lived in a little cabin over near Phoenix. All six of us girls slept in the attic, and my oldest sister, Mary, started a school there with 12 students. Later, we moved here to Jacksonville. In fact, you passed our house before you came up the hill to the cemetery. That's our house at the bottom of the hill. Well, my first husband, Mr. Shipley, died, and. We were only married a few years, and I began an interest in writing and even presented an essay at the American Teaching Institute. But it wasn't long after that that we met, and my interest in writing began to diminish. Well, now, Florence, it's time to start a new chapter in our lives. We're going to try our hand at ranching in Fallon, Nevada. 